Good morning, Bacon Academy. Coming up on today's show, Project Grad needs your help. Syrian rebels killing major party leader and a plan for a Martian colony. All that and more now on the Bacon Academy Student News. Today is Thursday, November 29th, 2012. I'm Bernie Dentler. And I'm Matt McAllister. Bacon Academy's project graduation is seeking volunteers to help run a concession stand at Rentschler Field on Saturday, December 1st. Without enough volunteers, the fundraiser, which is one of the main sources of revenue for Project Grad, cannot proceed. Parents and students willing to help should contact Ryan Kennedy. The Bacon Academy LMC is sponsoring an event at Barnes & Nobles in Glastonbury on Saturday, December 1st. By mentioning Bacon Academy at the checkout, the LMC gets a percentage of the profits made. The event goes from 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Two local firefighters were sent to the hospital as a result of injuries sustained in a suspicious fire in Montville. The fire, which broke out in a vacant home on Colchester Road, is the second this week. The close timing of these fires has prompted an investigation into the possibility of arson. Last March, two other similar fires occurred in Montville, also within just days of each other. Several Connecticut first selectmen are backing a proposal to CLNP to use their purchasing power to buy generators at reduced prices and sell them to customers. CLNP officials have stated that they may review this plan given the three major storms which have struck Connecticut and left millions of residents without power in the past year and a half. In Hempstead, New Jersey yesterday, a six-year-old boy was killed when a bus that swerved to avoid a pedestrian crashed through the side of his house. Around 9.30, the unidentified 50-year-old bus driver was obeying all traffic laws when a jaywalker stepped out in front of the vehicle. The driver sounded his horn several times before being forced to veer off the road in order to avoid a collision with the 35-year-old man. Eight of the 11 passengers on the bus were taken to various hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. A New Hampshire couple were, was arrested on Wednesday evening under suspicion of beating and burning the woman's three-year-old son. The arrest occurred moments after they watched a parade at a theme park in Orlando, Florida. The couple has been on the run for two weeks after arrest warrants were signed for both of them on November 13th. The child was taken to a hospital but was later transferred to the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth where he is recovering from surgery. Powerball officials have reported that winning tickets were sold in Arizona and Missouri. It is unclear whether the tickets belong to individuals or groups, but whoever the winners are, they will be splitting the $579.9 million jackpot. This was the second largest top prize in U.S. lottery history, falling behind only the $656 million Mega Millions jackpot from this March. Syrian rebels have killed a top member of the country's ruling party along with three of his guards after they bombed his home Thursday. The bombing, which took place in Dara, where the rebellion began in March 2011, is part of what appears to be a new strategy against the government. The use of such bombings has raised concern over the involvement of Islamic extremists in the Syrian war. Members of an Islamist-dominated panel are preparing to vote on the final draft of the new Egyptian constitution. This will likely stoke the widening political crisis over decrees giving the Islamist president near absolute power. The vote was not expected to happen so soon and is coming before a Sunday court re ruling regarding the legitimacy of the panel. Liberal members of the panel have withdrawn to protest what they consider the hijacking of the process by Islamists loyal to the president. In science news, astronomers have spotted an enormous black hole, the second most massive ever, but it resides in a tiny galaxy approximately 220 million light years away. The galaxy, NGC 1277, hosts a black hole that is 4,000 times larger than the one located at the center of our galaxy and around 17 billion times more massive than our sun. The discovery of such a massive black hole in a relatively small galaxy has raised questions about their existence, as it was believed that supermassive black holes only existed in large galaxies. The founder of the private corporation SpaceX is eyeing plans for a massive colony on Mars. The goal is to begin by sending a small group of people to the Red Planet on board a large reusable rocket to build an early self-sustaining society. After the initial settlement, SpaceX intends to begin ferrying more humans to the colony for about $500,000 per person with the hope of establishing an 80,000 person colony. Today, join us again tomorrow for more school, local, national, and world news. And remember, you can catch us online too at youtube.com slash BA Student News.